Now in the next type of problem, I'm going to give you a function and ask you to calculate its inverse using the technique that we talked about just a few minutes ago. So if f of x is equal to 3x plus 7, what I want to do is find f inverse of x. So the first step is to replace f of x with y. y is equal to 3x plus 7. The next step is to flip x and y around. So I'm replacing y with x and x with y. That's all I did. That actually does the flipping. The next step is just to solve for y. Okay. So moving the 7 over, x minus 7 is equal to 3y. I subtracted 7 from both sides and moving it over there. Okay. And then the final step, and I'm going to kind of flip this equation around here, is I'm going to say y is equal to x minus 7 over 3. I divided both sides by 3, getting rid of it here. It's x minus 7 over 3 is there. And then the last step is to replace y with f inverse of x because that's what y is equal to. And this is the inverse, x minus 7 over 3. This is the inverse function of this function here. Okay, so it's really not that hard. Let's say you had f of x is equal to square root of 2x plus 7, and I wanted to find the inverse of that function. So again, the first step, replace f of x with y. y is equal to the square root of 2x plus 7. Okay? Next step is replace x and y and flip them. x is equal to the square root of 2y plus 7. All I did was flip the uh, location of x and y. Now I need to solve for y, so I need to start isolating y. First thing I'm going to do is get rid of this radical, so I'm going to square both sides because the opposite of a square root is a square. So I'm going to have x squared over here is equal to 2y plus 7. I totally got rid of the radical because the opposite of a square root is a square, and I had to square the left side. Okay. Now I'm going to move the 7 over here. x squared minus 7 is equal to 2y. Okay. And finally, solving for y, y is equal to x squared minus 7, x squared minus 7 over 2. That is, that is the, basically the answer. And then the very final thing you do is you replace this, this uh, y with f of minus 1, which is the inverse, is equal to x squared minus 7 over 2. Okay? So that's all you do there. So it's a pretty straightforward process. Uh, not terribly difficult. You just uh, you replace this with y, you flip the variables around, and then you solve for y. We'll do one more like this.